tell you, this is the rape of the, uh, the IRT. I remember when I showed this at the uh, gallery on 57th Street, and my mother, she was never taken aback by any painting I ever did, except for this one. Really? This one, yeah. <laughs> you pack a lot in there. Yeah, well, that's it. You can't go through a gallery and go like this and walk out and go look at something else. You know? Thank you. Please welcome Robert Senadella. Robert, what does it feel like to have your life dissected like this? And to, and to participate in it. The process is, is great because I like the way my paints look on film. You don't mind the camera moving around your canvas liberally? No, I love it because, because that's kind of how I paint. I think one of the things you should say about Bruegel, you could take any square inch almost of a Bruegel painting and you can make another painting out of it. To some degree, that's how my paintings are. Do you see any connection between the blacklisting of your father as a radio writer and the apparent censorship of your work? Absolutely. Uh, censorship is really all around us, whether we want to admit it or not. I think I had the idea of putting Santa Claus on a cross from the early 60s. I must have had trouble as a kid with Christmas. The powers that be at Saatchi and Saatchi saw it and they said, oh my God, but they just literally took it out of the shelf. I'm not worried about the government censoring my work because the galleries and the museums do it for them. Do you have any suggestions, guides, or words of wisdom to anyone who might be interested in being an artist of some sort and, you know, surviving and paying the bills versus trying to find a way to express yourself that's uh, authentic? Well, the first thing I say is don't give up your day job. Every piece of art you make, you have to make it for yourself. And don't make it for the marketplace. Thank you so much for being with us. Robert Sanadella.